Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. So in uh, this first lecture, I'm going to just uh, explain to you briefly how the hotspot works. And uh, so we have a, an idea, a global idea about the hotspot. And uh, then after that, we are going to start building that using some labs and the configurations on the Microtech Router OS. So let's go directly and start now to give some explanation about how the hotspot works on Microtech. And then after that, we'll start doing the labs. So what is hotspot? Hotspot, as a definition, is an open uh, wireless network, meaning that uh, say that you have this uh, scenario that I'm showing you here. We have a Microtech router connected to the Internet and uh, the ISP is providing Internet to this uh, wireless router. And uh, this router is actually it's an access point because it's also providing wireless. So what we can do, we can create a hotspot allowing anyone who would just want to connect to the Internet then he can uh, log to the hotspot with the username and password, and uh, then he is able to go to the internet. Now, in the background, something is happening. So first of all, when we connect to the internet, then this router needs to have the internet. That's the first thing we have to put in mind, that the, the router has to get internet from the ISP router. The second thing that uh, we have uh, to put in mind is that when we create the hotspot, and we have here a user, say that it's a phone, and it's connected wirelessly after we configure the hotspot to the uh, hotspot over here. So there will be some communication and then he will receive from the hotspot an IP address, a subnet mask, a gateway, because it's an open wireless, as I said, there is no password, so it's open. So he will receive the configuration uh, as for the IP address, subnet mask, uh, gateway and so forth. But he will not be able to go to the internet because then on this um, uh, hotspot, there are some filter rules, which will be seeing them inside the filter rules, disallowing him to go to the internet unless he put the right username and password. Now, what happens is that when he connect to the hotspot, he will get something like a page on uh, the uh, phone over here or the PC or any end device. He will get like a page coming from the hotspot to him. And this page, we call it captive portal. So the captive portal is nothing more than an HTML file or HTML uh, uh, format of the page where it says to you, okay, put for me the username and the password and here that is enter. So meaning that uh, the administrator over here should already have configured for this customer an account with the username and password and he has given him the account then the guy over here put the username and password and then there will be some communication with the hotspot uh, router over here and then if the username and password they are correct then over here then this will be granted to be going to the internet now of course we will have some more details is like uh, authentication can happen on the Microtech hotspot directly or it can be happened if we connect it to a radio server where the authentication happens on the radio server. Uh, also, the limitation of the speed, we are going to make it on the hotspot directly or we can also make it on the radio server like the user manager. So all those details will be talking about them later on. But for now, I just want you to understand the idea how the hotspot works. So this is the whole idea. Then it will connect to the wireless. It's open network. It can connect to it. It gets an IP address, but it doesn't go to the internet. It will receive here a captive portal, which is a page, HTML page coming from the hotspot. And he has to enter username and password. If you put the credential correct, then he will be allowed and authorized to go to the internet. And it will be able to bypass the filter rules that I'm talking about them here. So that is how the hotspot works in a, a global idea. Now we have the idea of the hotspot. In the upcoming lab, we have to start working of uh, seeing how, what are the main requirements uh, for the hotspot to work. So we have to see there are some requirements we have to have on this Microtech uh, router or the access point, whatever you want to call it, the wireless access point. So there are some requirements that we need to meet. And then based on those requirements, if we have them, then we can configure the hotspot. So that is all what I wanted to show you in uh, this uh, lecture. We understand now how the hotspot works. Remember, you connect to the wireless. Once you connect to the wireless, which is open, you get a page, which is called captive portal. 
and then over there we have to put the username and password and if we put it correctly it's authorized then we can enter and we can get connected to the internet so i hope that this lecture was informative for you and i'll see you in the upcoming lecture